So this is absolutely the peak rhododendron and azalea flowering time. And we wanted to share with you a little bit of what you're still missing in the garden here at Cahays. I'm standing between two azaleas, azalea fedora and azalea, azalea mucronatum. And behind me you can see the first little vista of the array of colour we're going to show you in the next few minutes. So close up we're looking at the double flowered Azalea Molina. And we're panning up to look at uh, Magnolia Daphne and Rhododendron Damaris, which is the yellow one in the background. And we're coming up to Rhododendron Fragrantissimum, which I can smell from here. An absolutely overpowering scent, completely plastered in flowers. So the small yellow rhododendron in front of us is Cahay's bread and that's rhododendron Angkor. The dark red behind it is rhododendron Mayday, which was bred at Warrington Park by Commander Williams. And in the distance you're seeing the first of the Loderi rhododendrons up high, but easily smelt from back here. Here we've got Rhododendron Saffron Queen, which is the yellow, and behind it a very large row of Rhododendron Davidsonianum, which comes in lots of different colours. Um, that's about the mid co middle colour. It can be more pink and it can be much darker than that. And showing up in the background, we've got Loderi, Rhododendron Loderi King George, one of the most famous and best known of the big flowered uh, rhododendrons. Uh, this is rhododendron Beauty of Little Worth, which shows off very nicely against the dark coloured Acer leaves behind it. It's a big growing rhododendron. And in front here we've got uh, rhododendron Iroratum polka dot and you can see the dots in the centre of the flower. But if we just have a look around from everywhere you look, there is colour, there's interest and there's scent. So everywhere you look, there are rhododendrons of every colour you could imagine. And this little bed in front of us has got some young plants of Rhododendron Williamsianum in. Williamsianum has just two flowers in the truss and they open pink and then fade to white. It's a very dense growing bush and it'll be a few years before that's looking as good as some of the other things growing around it. And this yellow is Rhododendron hottii and Rhododendron fragrantissimum, which is nearly knocking me over with its scent behind it. So here we've got another scented Rhododendron, Rhododendron johnstonianum, yellow in bud and opens rather paler but very strongly scented.
And there are still magnolias adding to the scent. This is a Mycelia, which is a form of magnolia. And strangely, it's called Mycelia mixed up miss. And the mixed up bit is the combination of colors which you see in the petals and in the bud. Um, and there's three, three or more colors intertwined, which you see in other forms of Mycelia on their own. But here it's all jumbled in together. And then as we pan around, you see the lovely white of Rhododendron decorum and a massed array of Rhododendron Emma Williams with a few magnolias just going over behind them. So this is a little dwarf Rhododendron with bell-shaped flowers called Rhododendron litiensi. It's quite rare and I've never seen it flowering so well. And look at the contrast with the blue of Rhododendron augustinii behind it. What a dramatic blue that is. And then you go on to the yellowy orange of the Azara, which comes from Chile, uh, flowering away in the corner. And as we look through the arch in the laurel, you can see uh, deciduous azaleas showing up yellow, and then back on to Rhododendron Michael's Pride, which was bred here at Cahays. So we'll leave you with a picture of Rhododendron Augustinii and Rhododendron Davidsonianum growing up together. We wish you were all here, but I'm afraid it'll be next season before you have a chance to see all this for yourselves again.